All right, y'all. Um, today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to wire and the different ways you can wire a five terminal latching LED push button on off switch. Um, most of the time this is a real low low wattage switch so it's advisable to put in a relay after this switch to control whatever your accessory is especially if it's a high wattage accessory um, such as a sound system you know a big light bar things like that um, for today's video we're just doing the switch so I'll be wiring in a very low watt single LED um, if y'all would be interested in wiring in a four pin or a five pin just let me know in the comments um, and we'll see if we can't get that out for you so on these five pin relays you've got or on these five pin switches I'm sorry you've got your five terminals you've got your common you've got a normally closed you've got a normally open I had to write that on the wire because it's in the center there was no real room to write it with a sharpie then you've got a your ground wire then you got your positive wire for your LED and these this is just for your LED you do not have to put this on there um, but if you want the LED to function that's that's what you do with it now it's also labeled if I can get this to focus it's also labeled on the terminals themselves so you got your normally closed normally open common and then your two unmarked are your positive and your negative for your LEDs Now, when we're wiring these, um, anytime you wire anything to a vehicle, you always want a fused power supply. Um, a lot of vehicles have remote distribution boxes. I know a lot of us on our side-by-sides and four-wheelers, um, we run a separate power panel. That way, you know, we don't have to run everything all the way back to the battery and run as many wires as possible tucked onto one little tiny frame and a zip tie. Um, so. When you're doing such, there's normally a fuse point between your incoming to your distribution box and your outgoing to your switch or to your accessory to your relay, wherever it's going. Um, that being said, always put a fuse. It's always better to be safe than sorry, for sure, in the case, especially in the case of, you know, the possibility of your ride burning down. Um, so, your common wire is going to be your positive, as we stated before. So, your common hook it to your battery your LED positive again you don't have to wire this up um, you only have to wire this in the case of your LED working I don't know why you would buy an LED switch and not want to have the LED lit up but if you didn't you don't have to have it um, in this case we're gonna hook it up normally I wire these to an ignition wire so it gets power when the ignitions on um, that just kind of avoids parasitic draw. Um, now you've got your ground. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my LED light in now. Um, like I said, this is just a real low watt green LED light. Um, ground. And always try to run your grounds. Um, there's no such thing as too too good of a ground so bad grounds cause a lot of electrical issues um, we ride in the water a lot um, we're big water riders everything I've got snorkeled so grounds are key clean good grounds so run it all the way back to the battery if you can if not a very clean spot on the frame um, if you got a remote distribution box like we stated um, you can run it back to that that box is negative bus just make sure you got a good ground um, and I always use heat shrink terminals preferably the marine kind I don't know if you can see it but there's a little glue inside that once you shrink it um, it melts that glue and also creates another seal along with the shrinkage of the of the tubing itself um, and then I usually follow that up with heat shrink tubing and like I said underwater electronics don't 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 really like that um, now the confusion on these switches a lot of times comes in with the normally open and the normally closed terminology of the switch. So the normal term, the end part of the normally closed, normally open, the normal state of a switch is when it is at rest. 
So in this case, it's a latching switch. When you push it in, you can see it's actually inset. It's got a little lip hanging out. When it's at rest, it's flush. So normal is at rest. So in this normally open wire, this wire is open when the switch is at rest. Normally closed is closed when the switch is at rest. Meaning the terminal inside from your common to your out. Either one of these are out. This one's out when the switch is at rest. You're normally closed. You normally open. Power comes out when the switch is engaged. Okay, when the switch is latched. So, if you want to push the button and have the light come on, you wire it to your normally open terminal. If you want it always on and turn it off when you push the switch, you wire it to your normally closed terminal. And that would be beneficial like if you were to alternate, if you were to want to, want to alternate lights, like maybe you just wanted one on all the time um, and then you wanted to switch to another one when you wanted to. Um, kind of like a high beam, not really the correct application for a high beam, low beam, but it would work in that situation. Um, so we've got our normally open from the switch to our positive on our LED, on our accessory. Um, this would also go to your relay as well to control that, to then control your higher wattage accessory. Um, we've got our power common, and then we've got our power LED hooked up to our fused power source. And then of course we've got all our grounds hooked up to a clean ground. Now, you can see when I hit the ignition, in this case it was just hooking it up to the battery, um, but when I hit the ignition, the switch comes on, we've got power to our switch, we know we're ready to go, switch is at rest, LED is not on. Close the switch, LED comes on. And the LED, notice the LED on the switch is staying on whether the switch is on or whether the switch is off. Now, another way you can wire this is, I'll just go ahead and do what we had stated earlier. If you wanted to alternate these, say you wanted, uh, let's see if I've got my little light around here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. So I've got another little light. This is just a little truck bed sampler light I had. Um, so if you want, so you want your accessory lights to be on sometimes, and then sometimes you want these lights to be on. You would take this, so now you've got your, and this is the alternating light situation I was talking about. So now our green LED is wired up to our normally closed terminal on the switch. Okay, normally closed. Now our other LED, our little truck bed LED, is wired up to the normally open terminal. So this was going to get power all the time when the switch gets power. When you push the switch in, this light is going to come on and this is going to go off. Let me wire up my ground real quick. Now, switch is at rest, nice and flush. This LED is on because it is wired to the normally closed terminal. So anytime this switch gets power, the normally closed terminal gets power when the switch is at rest. And when you push the button in, your normally closed terminal becomes open, your normally open terminal becomes closed and activates the other wire. Now, there's also different functions of the LEDs that you can do, of the LED here on your switch, and I'll show you how to do those as well. All right now, again, as far as the um, as far as the switch LED functions go, you can make this 
light up all the time whether it's on or off you can make it lit up and go off when it's on um, like I said there's there's several different ways you can configure that LED again I don't know why you would want to um, I, I really don't um, but if you did I'm gonna show you how to do it so again we've got our power to our switch function now your LED wire okay we'll go ahead and hook up our grounds again so we've got our grounds back, hooked back up so you can wire the LED here your LED positive to your normally open terminal so I'll show you what happens when we do that and when you do this the light will come on when the the LED switch light will come on when the, when your accessory comes on. So your LED goes off, lights off. That's on. I suppose that would be beneficial to where you know if you you know if you've got the light on on the dash, you left a light on somewhere. Um, so if, there, if nothing's lit up, you know that everything's off. Um, that could be beneficial in that case. Um, but that's how you would do that. Now another way you could wire the LED would be you can wire your LED power to your normally closed. Meaning when the switch is at rest, the LED will be on. When you turn on your accessory the LED goes off and I'll show you how that works okay LED on switches at rest accessory is off turn it on your LED goes off, your accessory comes on. Um, haven't really thought of a reason for that to be how you'd want to do it. Um, again, maybe just to visually look down and see what you've got on, what you've got off, and all that. But that is the way you would do that if you wish to do it that way. I was saying earlier, you don't have to have your LED on for this to function. Again, have no idea why you would buy an LED switch and not want the LED on but if that's the case I'll show you how to do that as well so all you do is remove your LED power wire from the circuit we'll cap this just for safety remove your LED wire and you've still got your common to your switch so you've still got power coming in your switch you've still got ground to your accessory and you've still got power going to your accessory when the switch is either clo uh, closed or open. Now, as you notice, no power to the LED. Nothing's on. LED wire is not hooked up. No LED. No LED. Again, don't know why, but if you want, there it is. Now that's about all of the different ways um, and all of the different reasonings I can come up with for each way um, of how to wire a 5-pin low wattage latching LED switch. If y'all like the video, if you learned something, um, you know, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Um, see any pointers, any tips, a different way to do things. Um, you know, there's about a million ways to do different things. So, um, just let me know in the comments. Um, hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Like I said, if you wanna wanna know how to wire in your four pin or your five pin relay, um, also let me know. Um, we do a, again, we do a lot of water riding, four-wheeler side-by-sides and stuff. Um, if you're interested in any of that content, let me know. Um, we'll see what we can put out for you. Thanks, guys.